Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Electroma. Today we are going to learn about, types of printed circuit board. Printed circuit boards are the boards, that are used as the base in most electronics, both as a physical support piece, and as the wiring area for the surface mounted, and socketed components. PCBs are most commonly made out of fiberglass, composite epoxy, or another composite material. Most PCBs, for simple electronics are simple and composed of only a single layer. More sophisticated hardware, such as, computer graphics cards or motherboards can have multiple layers, sometimes up to 12. Although PCBs are most often associated with computers, they can be found in many other electronic devices, such as TVs, radios, digital cameras and cell phones. In addition to their use in consumer electronics and computers, different types of PCBs are used in a variety of other fields. Different types of PCB Single-sided PCB or single-layer PCB Double-sided PCB or double-layer PCB Multi-layer PCB Rigid PCB Flex PCB or flexible PCB Rigid Flex PCB or Rigid Flexible PCB. Let us now discuss all these different types of printed circuit board in detail. Single-sided PCB is the simplest low-cost PCB or printed circuit board. These types of PCB has only one single layer of the base substrate, fiberglass, and one single conductive copper layer. Holes for electronic components are generally not plated through. Layout for the electronic components is on one side and the conductive circuit is on the other side. Since, there is only conductive layer forming the circuit, it is called single-sided PCB or one-layer PCB, or single-layer PCB. Double-sided PCB or double-layer PCB. These types of PCB have one single layer of the base substrate, but conductive copper layer on both sides of the substrate. Solder mask, is applied on both sides of the board. Holes for electronic components have to be plated through for conductivity on both the circuits. Conductive holes in the PCB allow circuits on one side to attach to circuits on the other side. Electronic components are soldered on both sides. Both through hole electronic components and surface mount components, SMD, can be soldered on either side of this type of PCB. SMD components can be soldered with surface mount technology. Since, there are two or double conductive layer forming the circuit, it is called double-sided PCB or two-layer PCB. Multi-layer PCB Multi-layer PCB is a printed circuit board with more than two layers. These types of PCB must have a minimum of three conductive layers of conductive material or copper layer. All the layers are interconnected with copper plated holes. The layers can be four, six, eight, up to 40 layers. All the active and passive electronic components are assembled on top and bottom layers. All the inner stacked layers are meant for routing. Both through hole electronic components, and surface mount components, SMD, can be soldered on either side of this type of PCB. SMD components can be soldered with, surface mount technology and other PCBA tools. These boards are then secured together, with a specialized glue and sandwich between, pieces of insulation to ensure that excess heat doesn't melt, any of the components. The largest multi-layer PCB ever built was, 50 layers thick. With many layers of printed circuit boards, designers can make very thick, complex designs which are suitable for a broad range of complicated electrical tasks. Applications where multi-layer PCBs, would be beneficial include, file servers, data storage, GPS technology, satellite systems, weather analysis, and medical equipment. Rigid PCBs are printed circuit boards, that are made out of a solid substrate material, that prevents the board from twisting. Possibly, 
The most common example of a rigid PCB is a computer motherboard. The motherboard is a multi-layer PCB designed to allocate electricity from the power supply while simultaneously allowing communication between all of the many parts of the computer, such as CPU, GPU and RAM. Rigid PCBs make up perhaps the largest number of PCBs manufactured. These PCBs are used anywhere, that there is a need for the PCB itself to be set up in one shape, and remain that way for the remainder of the device's lifespan. Rigid PCBs can be anything from a simple single-layer PCB, all the way up to an 8 or 10 layer multi-layer PCB. Flex PCB or flexible PCB. Unlike rigid PCBs, which use unmoving materials such as, fiberglass, flexible PCBs are made of materials, that can flex and move, such as plastic. Like rigid PCBs, flexible PCBs come in single, double or multi-layer formats. As they need to be printed on a flexible material, they tend to cost more for fabrication. Still, flexible PCBs, offer many advantages over, rigid PCBs. The most prominent of these advantages is, the fact that they are flexible. This means, they can be folded over edges, and wrapped around corners. Their flexibility can lead to cost and weight savings, since a single flexible PCB, can be used to cover areas that might take multiple rigid PCBs. Flexible PCBs can also be used in areas, that might be subject to environmental hazards. To do so, they are simply built using materials that might be waterproof, shockproof, corrosion resistant or resistant to high temperature oils, an option that traditional rigid PCBs may not have. Flex rigid PCBs combine the best of both worlds when it comes to the two most important overarching types of PCB boards. Flex rigid boards consist of multiple layers of flexible PCBs attached to a number of rigid PCB layers. Flex rigid PCBs have many advantages over just using rigid or flexible PCBs for certain applications. For one, rigid flex boards have a lower parts count than traditional rigid or flexible boards because the wiring options for both can be combined into a single board. The combination of rigid and flexible boards into a single rigid flex board also allows for a more streamlined design reducing the overall board size and package weight. Flex rigid PCBs are most often found in applications where space or weight are prime concerns, including cell phones, digital cameras, pacemakers and automobiles. Thank you. If you have any doubt regarding this chapter, ask below on the command box. Please do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon. If you want any lecture explanation regarding electrical and electronic engineering modules, command below.